Hello, I'm David from uh, Sail Tahiti, and today I'd like to uh, take you on board the Garcia Passoa 54 from 2007 in owner's version. First thing you notice is the very smart uh, David system with an electric winch, making it very easy to lift your uh, dinghy. So walking on the deck, uh, you notice the second dinghy under its cover the two furlers from the head sail and the very big and powerful windlass. She has a very nice helm and from the helm position, both the engine control and the autopilot control are directly accessible. Uh, she has a center cockpit, she has a very large aft platform for bathing or sun bathing uh, and under it you've got two very big uh, storage lockers where you can put uh, all your stuff for diving and mooring and so on. has a powerful engine so you can easily reach uh, 8 to 10 knots which is uh, very useful uh, when you're going through the passes. Sails uh, are in a very good condition, they're from incidents. So the main sail is fully battened uh, with a good car system so going up very easily especially with the nice winches uh, we have on board. You can see the shape of the main sail is, uh, is very good. So now uh, it's going to be time to unfurl the big Genoa. She's a cutter uh, rig, so she's got a very big Genoa uh, and then a smaller stay sail. You can see the attention to detail with uh, the UV band uh, on the sail and the dinghy cover matching the hull paint color, uh, but also all the running rigging in, in a perfect condition. Unfortunately, today we have uh, almost no wind, so uh, it's time to enjoy the very large cockpit. Uh, you can see those nice seats at the back, uh, very comfortable when cruising. So let's furl the sails and uh, get ready to show you the inside of the boat. The electronics are from the latest generation of Raymarine. Uh, so you've got a very big hybrid touch uh, chart plotter and uh, two screens just above the companion way and then some inside. Inside there's a huge amount of space, there's lots of light, you see the very high quality woodwork. You don't feel hot under the tropics because she's fully insulated from hull to deck, which is also good if you want to go to Patagonia and other cold places. She is the only Passoa 54 built in owner's version. So at the bow we find a very large owner's cabin. Uh, it even has uh, its own private desk area. It's got lots of storage for your books, your clothes. And here you can see the ensuite uh, bathroom. Between uh, the huge saloon and the galley, you've got the battery bank. So there's 10 batteries of 105 amps hour each. And here you've got access to the lifting centerboard system. So it's very safe with a direct access. The galley is very well equipped with a double sink, a very good uh, work surface. Uh, a fridge here and also a freezer which is underneath the sink and you can notice again the quality of uh, the woodwork and the attention to details. We've got more storage here.
between the galley and the guest aft cabin, you've got the diesel heater. Again, very good if you want to go to Patagonia. Here's the guest cabin, which is on the port side. Um, and on starboard, you've got the very, very big saloon and the chart table with all uh, your equipment. Behind the chart table and directly accessible from the companion way, uh, you've got the main uh, shower and head uh, with some space to store your wet clothes. Uh, and behind it, uh, you've got a technical and storage room. You've got access to the engine from uh, both sides, so you can see the shaft, you can see your filters easily. Above the companion way, uh, you've got your engine's uh, indicator, and below it, you've got another access to the engine's room. you want to learn more about the Passoa 54 from Garcia, uh, if you want to come and discover the Pacific on your boat, please contact us. We'll be happy to help you.